The May will be in the country tomorrow for a one-day visit seen as crucial for Kenya's trade ties with the UK. The premier is on a three-nation Africa whistle stop tour, stop tour coming months before Britain leaves the European Union. The RSMA is scheduled to hold talks with President Uhuru Kenyatta and sign what the Foreign Affairs Ministry terms as crucial agreements. And as our senior reporter Rita Tinina now reports, it will be the first visit to Kenya by a British Prime Minister in three Decades. January 1988, history is written as the first British Premier set foot in Kenya. Former President Daniel Moy hosted the then British Prime Minister, the late Margaret Thatcher, Britain's first female Prime Minister. Three decades later, Britain's second female Prime Minister, Theresa May, comes calling. It will not be the first time that the British Premier will be meeting President Uhuru Kenyatta. The two leaders met at number 10 Downing Street in May last year and have also met on the sidelines of the G8 summit in Canada in June and the Commonwealth Heads of State Government meeting in London in April this year. Theresa May's visit to Kenya is part of a three-nation tour of Africa which began in South Africa on Tuesday as Britain, which is preparing to leave the European Union, seeks to strengthen global ties. Countries are rational actors. They always calculate what they are doing and they do it for a reason. So one of the things that we can read from Britain's gesture to visit uh, Kenya is that it is still regards this country as an important um, a country in Africa. Kenya will be seeking to deepen trade ties with one of its most important export destinations. Tea, beans and roses top the list of Kenyan exports to London. But the value has been fluctuating in recent years. And so has the number of British tourists to Kenya. Britain was at one time the largest source market for Kenya's tourism. The visit would be really uh, uh, speak volumes and um, uh, sent very correct information that Kenya is safe, anybody can visit Kenya. The Nairobi meeting will provide an opportunity for the two leaders to review progress on the issues discussed during their meeting at number 10 Downing Street, where Uhuru Kenyatta called for the re-establishment of a UK visa processing center in Nairobi. Currently, UK visas are processed in South Africa. Theresa May, who will arrive in the country after a visit to Nigeria, will have a tight scheduled one-day visit that will see her, among other things, open a cybercrime security wing and address a business forum at the Strathmore University. Rita Tinina, KTN News. And tomorrow here on KTN News, we'll